Hi there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really fun video for you. I've been playing in my closet and I'm going to show you 10 ways to style a plain white t-shirt. And this is the white t-shirt in question and I love this t-shirt. This is from Uniqlo and it is their cotton t-shirt. I must have seven or eight or nine of them because I absolutely love them. I've had some of them for two and three years and they still come through the wash just great. I wash them and then I do hang them dry, but they're very beefy, they're very thick, and they just have that rich look to them, so I totally recommend them. And here is a look at the basic outfit, which is the basic white Uniqlo tee and my favorite jeans of all time. These are from Amazon and they're the Levi 724 straight jeans. And this is not in the darkest wash, but it's not in the lightest wash either. I'll link them below. And then in terms of shoes, I have some real basics and these are the Madewell leather white tennis shoes. Absolutely love them. And I like them because the white matches the white in the t-shirt in addition to being a nice casual outfit. And in most of the stylings, I'll be wearing the same jewelry. This is the Invictus CZ watch that I've had for about two years, love it. This is the Bobble Bar two-piece set from Amazon. I think it's like $13. And I have had this again for a couple of years, but a nice bevel herringbone and then a beautiful wide paperclip chain, which is very in. And then in terms of the only other watch you'll see in the video, this is the Fossil and it is less than $100. It is two-tone and has the great CZ bling. Absolutely love that. But before we get into 10 great ways to style a white tee, I did want to thank my sponsor for this video. I am so happy that June's Journey reached out to me. And June's Journey is a wonderful free game. I've got a download link below. It is for Android phones and also for iPhones. Whichever you have, it will work. And both my husband and I downloaded it about three weeks ago and we can't get enough of this game. It is really almost addictive. June's Journey is set in the 1920s, which I always love that period. I love movies of that period. I love books of that period. And I certainly love this game. And in this game, you are a character named June. And you are trying to find out who killed your sister and her husband. And it is a mystery game. And so you see various scenes and you're trying to locate various objects or clues in each scene. Okay, loose photo. Oh, that's right there. Oh, good. I got that. Tierra. Oh, Tierra is right, right over here. Got that. Ribbon, gloves. Gloves. Where are the gloves? I think I've... Oh, gloves. No, that's not them. No, that says no. Oh, shoes. It says shoes. I see shoes there. Mirror, ribbon, tortoise. Where the heck is the tortoise? And as you can see, finding the little objects, the little hidden clues in each scene is very challenging, which is really good for our brain. And both Alan and I absolutely love this game. In fact, we sit in the family room and he'll play it and I'll play it and he's kind of competitive. And unfortunately, he is a lot better than I am at it. Although over the last couple of weeks, I have been surging ahead and I'm getting better. And I try not to compete with him because he is really great at games, but I have really improved my score. And one of the things we like best about it is we're both in our 60s. And as you get older, it is very important to keep your brain sharp. And these sorts of games are great because they're entertaining, they're a whole lot of fun, but you're also exercising your brain because it is sometimes challenging searching each scene, looking for clues. And another thing I really like about June's journey is Sometimes I get sick of social media. I watch so many YouTube videos and I feel like I'm always trying to look something up, trying to figure something out, trying to learn something new. And it is such a pleasure just to release all that and just have pure enjoyment. And even times when I have an extra three or five minutes standing in a line somewhere. In fact, I was in the line at Whole Foods yesterday to return some Amazon and there were probably four people in front of me. And so I just whipped out my phone and opened June's journey and I got through almost a whole game, which was super fun. And thank you so much, June's Journey, for sponsoring this video. And it is so wonderful that it is a totally free game. And in just a few moments, you can be playing June's Journey and it is super fun. So please download the app and let me know what you think. Let me know if you like it as much as Alan and I do. Now, my first outfit of the 10 is called the Pretty Woman. And here is your hint. Take a look at this picture. We all remember this picture from the 90s and how iconic it was. And I can't count the number of times that I put on a white t-shirt and a navy blue blazer and jeans and I felt like the pretty woman too. And although I don't think we ever saw Julia Roberts feet in that scene, that was the scene where Richard Gere picks her up at the very end to take her off and probably marry her. I never saw her feet, but if I did, I bet she would have something classy like this on. 
And these are the Aerosols Cognac Colored Loafers. And I have really never worn loafers before, but I got these about a week ago and I absolutely love them. I think they look totally rich and they look totally classy. And I like it that they are plain, that they don't have silver or gold bling on them because I think that makes them a lot more versatile. And in terms of a purse, I have styled it with a wonderful find, something I found on Etsy. And this looks exactly like a designer purse. I think it's called the Bodega Cloud Purse. Absolutely lovely. And this is 100% leather. It is a crossbody bag. It has a long leather strap, so you can use it crossbody if you like. But I got this on Etsy and it was well under $100 and it is 100% leather. Looks exactly like the designer version. Now my next white t-shirt styling I call casual but cute. And that is because it features this wonderful H&M sweatshirt. And if you haven't gone to H&M and looked at their sweatshirts, you really should. In fact, I got one last year that has Harvard on it. It's a hoodie sweatshirt. And I have worn it numerous times since last year and it still looks great. It comes through the wash just beautifully. And this is a big beefy Yale sweatshirt. And I have taken the white tee and just looped this around my shoulders. And I absolutely love the idea of taking a sweatshirt and putting it around your shoulders because number one, in the spring, it can be cool. And so this around your shoulders helps you feel a little bit warmer. And then if it gets a little bit colder still, you can take this off and put it over your t-shirt. And just a tip, I'm sure you know, that is that if you're wearing a sweater or a sweatshirt, always wear a t-shirt under it just to protect the sweatshirt. And I love this wrapped around your shoulders because it gives your shoulders that big kind of hefty prominent look. And also it causes you to have that hourglass look on your figure because if your shoulders look bigger, it makes your waist look smaller, which I think is wonderful. Then I have it styled with the Madewell white leather tennis shoes. Absolutely love those. And then in terms of a purse, I got an absolutely fabulous one from Amazon about two years ago. My husband kind of got mad at me on trips because he said, don't take your nice designer bags because people will notice that and it makes you kind of a target. He said, get something you can travel with. And so I have taken this on every trip we've gone on. It goes on the plane with me probably for the last year and a half. I got it about a year and a half ago. It is from Amazon and I think it is about $75. It is a black pebbled leather purse and it is crossbody, which makes it very, very safe. And it has all these little zippers on it, all these little pouches and it has a huge amount of space inside, so it is great for travel. But I also think it's great to wear when you're just casual and running around town. It gives you lots of space and the crossbody leaves your hands free. Now, this next white t-shirt styling, I call the Natural Shopper. And I call it natural because it features this beautiful woven handbag from Amazon. I don't know if the straps are leather or not, but they certainly look like leather. And they're that beautiful cognac shade, which I absolutely love a beautiful woven tote from Amazon. It has the zipper on top, which makes it very, very safe. And I've styled the outfit with these beautiful aerosol loafers. They have the beautiful wood heel and the beautiful cognac color. And again, I like it that there's no bling on here. It makes them very nice and casual. And these shoes are super padded inside. They are very comfortable. And I think they would be great on a day of shopping. Now I call this next white t-shirt styling, Old Money. And that is because it features this gorgeous Everlane tan blazer with the sleeves rolled up. I really never wear a blazer anymore unless the sleeves are rolled up. And I told you something incorrect in a video. I initially mentioned that if you want to roll up your sleeves, these sleeve garters would be wonderful. And these come in a pack of three different colored garters on Amazon for maybe about $12. And then the next week I came back into a video and I said, oh, you don't even need to buy the sleeve garters. You can just use these elastic hair bands. And I did that for an entire day with this particular jacket. But by the end of the day, I had like huge, big red marks, one around each arm. And in fact, it took about two hours for those things to leave. I almost didn't think they would. I realize now that I'm a bit older, it's kind of like I'm a ripe honeydew melon and I've got to be careful about things like that. So I dug out the sleeve garters again and I used them in this video and I plan to use them going forward. But I absolutely love the look of this classic tan blazer. And for a belt, I've gone ahead and used something you've seen in my videos before. I love this belt. This is the Ralph Lauren reversible belt and I have it reversed to the black side. And then of course an old money look would not be complete without shades, without sunglasses, because if you've got old money millions, you really don't want people to know who you are. You want to go incognito. I absolutely love these. And then to finish off the outfit, I have these beautiful Chanel inspired pumps, or actually I think they're slingbacks. 
They have a little sling back here and a nice little chunky heel, not too high. And then they are nude in color, but they have that beautiful black toe. And that's a fabric toe, just like in the Chanel version. And I think that with that conservative blazer and those great sunglasses and these Chanel inspired shoes, it really does make that t-shirt look like old money. Now, no white t-shirt styling video would be complete without a black leather moto jacket. And actually this is a faux leather version that I just got recently from Old Navy and it was super reasonable in price. In fact, I can't believe how reasonable it was. I don't know if they still have it because it was on clearance, but I will link it or something similar below the video. Absolutely love this with the classic white t-shirt. And then I've gone in with the black pebble leather purse that I showed you a little bit earlier. Love the fact that it has all this blingy silver hardware all over it. Love the fact that it's a crossbody as well. I think it makes that edgy moto jacket look even a bit edgier. And for shoes, I've gone in with these Naturalizer mules. They're black leather mules. And look at those gorgeous, gorgeous heels. They have the very on-trend rectangular heel, which I think is just beautiful. Absolutely love these mules. And I think they add just the right touch to that edgy moto jacket outfit. Now, this next white t-shirt styling I call the animal. The animal, because it features animal prints in this lovely shoe, and I won't show you the insides because I've had these shoes for years. They're Steve Madden shoes, and the outsides are still going strong, and I thought most of us would have some animal print shoes in their closet, either some flats or some heels, and I think that is the basis of a wonderful t-shirt styling. So just pair your animal print shoes with the rest of your outfit, and I particularly like adding a wide black belt. And this is the Ink Incorporated belt. You've seen this on my channel before. I absolutely love this. It is probably a three inch wide belt and I love the bling. And I think it ties in those shoes very, very well. And then for a purse, I have this fantastic purse that I got from Amazon. And this is a knockoff of the Bodega Designer Cloud Bag. And this is from Amazon and it is under $40. And I have this in cream and I have it in red. Absolutely love this. This is not leather, but it looks absolutely like the finest leather and it feels like leather. Nobody would know the difference. I can't believe the quality of this particular bag. And I think this handbag is the perfect accent to our animal look. Now this next white t-shirt styling I call the double denim. And that is because it has denim on the top in this great denim jacket and also denim on the bottom in those Levi's 724 straight jeans. And you'd have to be under a rock to not have heard that double denim is really in right now. Either a full length denim outfit in a jumpsuit or a denim shirt on the top with jeans. Double denim is really, really in. And I think in this case, it looks absolutely wonderful. And to lighten up the look of all that dark blue, I'm going in with these wonderful Amazon mules and they're in a cognac colored suede. And again, they give you the look of boots, but the wonderful versatility for spring and summer of the mules. And to top it all off, I've added this gorgeous Teddy Blake cognac purse. And I absolutely love this. And I'm thinking about doing a designer purse video to show you all of my purses. I have quite a few purses now. And if you'd like to see that video, please let me know in the comment section because I would love to share that with you. But I got this purse probably a week and a half ago and I absolutely love it. This is the 15 inch Stampato Kate in the color luggage brown. I think it's luggage brown. And look at the gorgeous hardware here. It has the little gold lock and then the little gold keys are in this little leather pouch. Absolutely beautiful. And this looks very similar to a Birkin bag and Birkin bags can be anywhere from $10,000 to $100,000. And this is not an exact knockoff, so it is totally legal, but I absolutely love the beautiful high-end styling of this bag, and I think it really complements that outfit beautifully. Okay, this next outfit I call the Silver Sparkler, and this is the reason for that. These wonderfully sparkly, glittery silver shoes, and I had these in my closet. I got them from Dream Pairs maybe about a year and a half ago, and to date, I've only worn them maybe three times, but they have been great in terms of adding to an evening outfit because they are so glittery. But that is one of the trends of the spring 2023 season, and that is wearing glitter during the day. And I have a question. Would you wear sparkly shoes like this during the day, or are you still an evening-only girl? I'm not sure about that, but I did have these shoes, so I created a whole white t-shirt outfit around them. And how I did that was that when you wear a white tee, it is a wonderful backdrop for jewelry. 
And so I added this beautiful Kareem Sultan necklace, chunky necklace to that outfit. And then also I added this gorgeous bracelet. And this bracelet is absolutely wonderful. It is hammered silver and very, very modern and has those big chunky CZs all over it. And I would not wear a watch with this. That stands alone for sure. And then in terms of earrings, I again went to Kareem Sultan and these are the silver metal rectangles. I think she calls them silver squares, but I think they're absolutely beautiful and they look great with that outfit. And in terms of a purse, I thought the outfit looked a little bland, surprisingly enough. So I added this beautiful purse by the drop, and this is the red leather version that I told you about earlier. Although this is vegan leather, it looks exactly like real leather. It is soft and buttery, and I think really perks up a neutral outfit. Okay, this next outfit was inspired by Victoria Beckham. And in fact, really, this whole idea of doing a 10 ways to style a white tee video was inspired by Victoria Beckham and one particular picture, and here it is. This is an iconic picture of Victoria Beckham that you've probably seen before. She has her hair back, she has her sunnies on, she has her jeans rolled up, she has her white tee, and she has little red stilettos. They look a little orange in that picture, but they are actually red. And in one of my Shop With Me Saturday videos that I'll link below, I did an exact reproduction of her outfit. And here are the two pictures. There's Victoria on one side and there's me on the other. I have everything styled pretty much the same down to the fact that I'm not smiling because Victoria Beckham rarely, if ever, smiles. And today I've recreated that same outfit I left my hair down because it's hard to get my hair up and then down in a video. It gets kind of messy, but I've styled it with these beautiful Dream Pairs patent leather pumps and Dream Pairs does have stilettos and I almost ordered the stilettos, but then I realized I am 60 plus years old. I don't have to wear stilettos if I don't want to. So I got these little kitten heels, maybe a little higher than kitten heels, but I absolutely love these shoes. And I actually wore about the same outfit to work the other day. And by the end of the day, my feet still felt really good. The Dream Pair shoes, one thing about them that I've noticed, and I have quite a few pairs of Dream Pair shoes, that is that they really are very comfortable. And in terms of a purse, I've added this wonderful pop of color again. Again, this purse is from the drop. It is vegan leather, but it is beautiful in quality. Absolutely love this. And I think it adds a real pop to that outfit. Well, that was my look at my 10 ways to style a white basic t-shirt. And if you'd like to see another one of these videos, let me know. I thought about doing a video on the 10 best ways to style a white button down. And I would love to share that with you if it would be of interest. Please list that in the comment section below if you'd like to see that video. And I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And today I don't have any cards to read from, but I did want to share with you something that happened on my birthday. And basically every birthday, Alan and I are in our 60s. And when we started out years ago, when we first got married, we were both in TV and we both literally made minimum wage. Each of us made about $1,000 a month. And so birthdays and Christmas, it was a big deal to ask what the other person wanted and to have the money to get that for them. And you always had a lot on your list when you made minimum wage, at least we did. But now that we're 60, life has gotten much easier. And pretty much every birthday and even Christmas, when asked what I want, I'm kind of like, well, I don't need anything. I buy myself anything that I want. I don't need anything. So let's just go out to dinner. Let's not do a present. And Alan is exactly the same way. He buys the things that he wants for himself. He doesn't wait for someone to give him something on his birthday. But this year I had a wonderful idea for my birthday that I thought I would share with you. And that is that I realized that while I have a ton of material possessions, I really wanted a special day between Alan and me. And I also had some honeydews that I would love to get done around the house. And so here's what we did. In the morning, we got up, we took a shower, we got dressed, and we went out to the Village Inn, which is a great little breakfast restaurant here in Wichita, where they bring the coffee in a carafe to your table, and you just sit there drinking coffee all morning and eating great breakfast foods. So we did that. And then I had made a list of all the honeydews that I wanted to be done around the house. And I kept the list in my cell phone, and all day that day, 
Alan and I worked together to check those items off the list. And some of the things included the following. We have a beautiful back upper deck and we cleaned off that deck, cleaned off the furniture, got it ready for the spring. And we even went and bought geraniums to put all around that deck, which is absolutely beautiful. We also got our bird feeder stations ready because through the winter we were not feeding the birds, but in the spring we were bound and determined to start feeding the birds again. So we put up some bird feeders and some suet feeders at several places around the backyard, which was great. And then in the front yard, we filled up the flower boxes with flowers and we even put flowers on the stairs on the way up to the front porch. And you know, not only did we get a lot of nice things accomplished that day, but we had such a fun time working together. And we kind of realized that most Saturdays, Alan goes off and works on the rental houses and I might work on YouTube, but we really rarely have a day that we spend together. We spend a lot of evenings together, but almost no days. We realized how much fun it was to spend the day together. But if you have a birthday coming and if you're like me and you're like, I really don't need anything, I have everything I want, remember that sometimes there's a value in time spent together. And if you have honeydews to do around the house, you can spend that time together accomplishing something. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.